Rith. All right, dude. Feel good ink. But before we do, let me just review the technique you're doing. You're doing parallel six all the way to the octave now. Which is a lot like the second guitar part in Feel Good Ink. And come back down. Sorry. Okay. We're also doing a two octave E minor blue scale. two octave E and A active major scales. E, E5, E2, repeat in A, same octave, the first octave is identical, that's A2, and then sliding on your second finger, you should A5. Okay, so now, um, let's work on Feel Good. So that's open, open, two, three, three, two, down the A string. Open, open, three, two, three, open. Okay, now we're going to take these triad shapes, which is our, our three note chords. You've used a bunch of these in Killer Queen. Um, the first one's 13, 12, 12, but you slide into it from 11 like this. So it's slide, one, two, or all together it's three, one, two. Now move it down a whole step and play three, one. And move it down another whole step, but add your ring finger, third finger to the B string, so it's a D minor shape, and go three, one, two, three, and slide to nine to 11. And start it over, so it's... which is four chords, E minor, D, A minor, and then your first like proto bar chord. You take the fingering from an A minor, the shape from an A minor, excuse me, but use three, four, and two, move it up a whole step, so now it's the fourth, fourth, and third frets, and then touch the A string second fret with your first finger. So you get a five note chord. That's, you're halfway to a B minor. A proper B minor would lay this flat. So it's a five, so the first string is at the second fret. That's very uncomfortable. Just to touch the A string is pretty manageable for most people. You can experiment with moving it up the fretboard. We just play four strings in that case, because the first string is going to sound bad. Um, so then you want to practice transitioning it from A minor to this partial B minor bar chord. And then the chorus becomes down, up, tap. three times the same way. And on the fourth time, you go back to D and you play it three times. One more. Then you're home. Now, it's, it's faster than the thing. It's like... to work on your bar chord is just take a flat finger, try to get five strings clear. You can almost kind of support it with your second finger. Sorry. Sometimes. Then try to put the full bar chord down and see what happens. You're going to probably get a lot of this. Like um, muted strings all the time. But don't be discouraged. This takes people months, sometimes years. Alright dude, that's it. Have fun.